Hello and welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 17. We'll start out by pressing 7 and then 5 on the num keypad and then delete and OK that to delete the default cube. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate how to use the spin function to create a shape. I'm also going to use a bezier curve uh, to help with this. So we'll press uh, Shift A and choose Curve, Bezier. Tab to go into edit mode. And uh, I'll use this curve to create a profile that, that will be spun. Something like that. And of course, this is all completely arbitrary exactly how you want to do this. But uh, this is just to demonstrate how you can use the spin function to help you create a flowing form or a form that has those characteristics that curves have. Now, uh, the curve itself has a certain resolution. You can see how many divisions there are in those segments. And the just because we want to try to keep our poly count down a little bit, I'm going to choose the, the curve, uh, the object data, the curve um, tab here, and go down to the resolution and change that to 6 instead of 12. Then you can see how the number of segments changes. So this is a point where you, have, where you can decide you know, if you want a denser or a more uh, low poly mesh. So next thing to do is to press tab to go back to object mode and then press alt C and then choose mesh from current curve. Now we have um, we go back to edit mode by pressing tab and A to select everything. And now it's time to spin. So we'll use the uh, the press the spin button here and then we'll have to go down here and change a few things. We we'll want it to spin around the y-axis not around the, the z-axis and I would like to have a total of 12 steps around the 360 degrees. So now you have this shape with its included there's like a we call it like a trumpet inside of it I will add a modifier a subdivision surface modifier that reveals if I press tab to go back to object mode that this seam here is not stitched up so this is an open the mesh is not entirely connected. The way to fix that really quickly, which is a real preferable way to have it done quickly, is you can press A, A, select everything and then remove doubles. Go back to object mode and it's all stitched up. So instead of having to manually stitch those up, since we have rotated perfect 360 degrees, those vertices are on top of each other and when we remove the doubles it will seal the form. So we'll go, well, I'm sorry, uh, I'll go back to edit mode. And uh, I want uh, smooth shading. And now another thing that you can do that uh, can change this if you want it, if you this shape is supposed to be a, a flower of some kind. You can go out, go ahead and uh, select. I'm using the Alt and Shift and then right mouse clicking on these. It's, it's in vertex mode, which is fine. It could be in uh, edges just as well. And now I'm going to scale this in all three dimensions. So I s press S and then I scale these down a little bit. And then I want to just uh, kind of make the, 
this inner still in in vertex mode. I just want to make these somewhat less sharp, like that. And then we'll go back, tab, go back to object mode. So this looks a little bit like a flowery object. And um, this is what I want to cover in this tutorial, is to use this, the spin tool and to use the remove doubles to stitch up the spun, spun shape. Just going to look at this and we can rotate this to and choose the camera and do uh, G Z Z and uh, move back up and then G and move up a little bit and render it. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you folks and uh, thank you for listening and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.